everyone, today I'm joining in Tammy Powley's monthly doll challenge, hashtag doll challenge. Uh, this month Tammy's theme is nautical. Um, I had a big think about what I ought to do for this and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to show you some of my nautical dolls. Some of my favourite monster high dolls are my nautical ones. So I have my great Scourier Reef dolls to show you and my shriek wrecked dolls i love these dolls i love monster high dolls anyway let's see who i have so first we'll start with the scarrier reef dolls i've got my great scarrier reef claudine the scarrier reef dolls are all mermaids and they can all stand their tails are all poseable at the bottom and, and they can stand on them her theme is purple isn't she gorgeous now, I got her from eBay, and I'm not sure whether her hair has been cut. But, yeah, that's the Claudine. You can see she's got fins on her arms. And then we've got Calimari. Look how colourful Calimari is. Oh, she's got four arms with her bracelets on. She was new. I bought her from Toys R Us, new in box. I used to love going to Toys R Us with Rosie and buying dolls, buying the... Uh, Brats and the Monster High dolls from there. Oh, miss those days. She's got her tentacles at the bottom. She's got these pink ones as well, a couple of those mixed in. Look how vibrant and colourful she is. Look at the style of her top. She's just, there's so much thought gone into these and I absolutely love how they look. So that's her. Then I have... Perry and Pearl, one of my favourite from this line. I love these two. I wanted to get the Perry and Pearl styling head, but I never did because it's so big. I love it though. The twins, Perry and Pearl, look at those. They've got their fins. Their tail is curved like this and it can be flat for storage or you can stand it like that and she can stand up on display like that. Then we have got... Posia Reef. Here's Posia. Look at her. I love all the details on her. She's got like all uh, seaweed in her, wrapped in her tentacles or tendrils at the bottom. And there's little worms and seahorses. You can see all the different little bits and pieces. There's a fish bone there. There's a crab at the bottom there. She was another new inbox one from Toys R Us. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Look at her hair. The colour of her hair is just wonderful. I love this colour. It's the same colour as that Barbie hairdressing doll, isn't it? Love it, love it. And she again, she can stand on her tendrils or you can fold them so that they're flat for storage. You, you know, they'll turn around and fold flatter. Then we have the gorgeous Draculaura. Look how lovely she is. Look at the detail on her face. And she's got yellow and black in her pink hair. So beautiful. Her top's pink, yellow and black as well. She's got gold detail on her tail. And then right at the bottom, on the bit that she stands on, her tendrils are black and she's got like pink webbing in there how beautiful are these dolls though i mean honestly they are just gorgeous look at her she's just gorgeous really do enjoy these dolls it's nice to get them out and you know and show you them that's what i thought oh that's what i'm going to do because it gives me an excuse to get them out and look at the beautiful frankie look at her Oh, she's just gorgeous. Look how they've done her hair. It's like got a sponge in there, I think, to hold it up. And then it's in a ponytail at the back. She's in her signature Frankie colours, like the green, yellow and blue. She's got her fins on her arms. She's got some on her mermaid tail. Her tail at the bottom as well will turn. This bit will turn flat for storage. Or you can turn it like that for her to stand on. This bit is jointed in the middle, so she can go like that. She's just gorgeous. Look at her. Frankie's always such a pretty doll. I, I love them all anyway. You know what? I like all dolls. You know what I'm like. And then we've got the gorgeous Laguna. Look at the colours on her. The turquoise and the pink. She's just lovely. Look at her eyelashes. They're longer. She's got freckles. 
she's got this pink bodice thing on that looks like some kind of sea creature or sea flower she's got her fins which is unusual it's only because she was new that she's got her fins i think otherwise they'd be lost she's got like little wings on the back here that move you can move them backwards and forwards and then her mermaid tail will go down like this or it will flip back and she can stand up on that either back or forwards whichever you find easiest and she has a joint in the middle of her tail too so those were my great scarrier reef dolls love those and then the other set i have got my nautical ghouls are the shriek wrecked ones so i have five of these i love these dolls these again i'm pretty sure i got all five of them new when they were in toys r us i'm so pleased i got them because i do love them so first we've got the lovely draculaura look how cute she looks in her little nautical dress she does have pink molded forearms and pink hands she's got her little nautical skirt on with ropes and anchors and stars and hearts on there she's got her earrings a heart that side she's got a heart both sides like a nautical heart i don't know it looks like it's made of rope with a bat in the middle she's got her pink tights or stockings on and look at those fabulous shoes i always think monster high dolls have the most fabulous shoes love it love it so that's her she's just gorgeous she's got her she's got her signature pink streak in her hair she's got her little nautical hat on with a little anchor and a little heart there gorgeous then we've got Laguna she's gorgeous too look at her look at her headpiece it's like um, coral with a ship's wheel on the front and then she's got her little star earrings there like starfish she's got her rope bodice she's got her little dress on which actually is not a dress it's actually shorts it's like skorts it's a skirt it's shorts that looks like a skirt I love that but look how cute that is it's got little nautical wheels on it and navigational stars yeah just lovely and she is in her signature colors her turquoise and pink and her lovely golden hair she's got in a two ponytails there just so pretty that's Laguna then we have got Gillington Webber or Gil Webber he's got his um, snorkel on like his snorkel there look that fits over his eyes and nose it does you can take it off it is a it does open at the back here I've never actually taken it off him because he was a new in doll box let's see if we can see his eyes there look he's very fishy looking isn't he and then he's got his fin across the top of his head which is like a uh, Mohican he's got a chain around his neck with a big fish hook on it he's got an anchor on his top and he's got fish bones and little stars on his shorts he's got fins on his legs and his shoes are turquoise and silver how nice he's gorgeous and then we have got Dana Treasurer Jones who is the daughter of Davy Jones from Davy Jones Locker that's what I believe so she's got a little treasure chest on top of her head which opens up to reveal her treasure look at that she's actually got treasure in her treasure chest headpiece she's got her earrings blue and green earrings and she's golden colored she's the color of treasure look and then we go down to her turquoise shoes and they've got little red crosses x marks the spot for the treasure her dress shows a treasure map on it with ships on there octopus crosses for the treasure and dotted lines and you can alter her dress you can if you undo her dress all the way down the back you then fold down the bodice piece and turn her dress around like this turn it around to the front and close it back up again at the back with the bodice piece 
hidden inside like that. She has a moulded black bodice with some coloured detail on there and you can see that her skirt is covered in treasure and it's got little skulls on there, the little um, Monster High logo skull there. Look at that. This is how she comes in the box and she's got moulded black hands as well. So that's her, Dana Treasurer Jones, she's gorgeous. And then the last one I have in that set is my gorgeous Rochelle. I love this Rochelle. She's got like some kind of squid or octopus holding her hair there, look. She's got a big squid and a ship on her headpiece. She's got a pirate's eye patch there covering her eye up. Uh, she's got this lovely nautical themed top with the blue and white stripes. She's got ropes around her waist for her waist ornament with an anchor on there. She's got the moulded brown arms and then on her skirt she's got like a sinkhole in the sea that ships get sucked into. That's what I think they are. And then she's got the gold and black net on the bottom. And then on her boots she's got, look at these. Look at the detail on those boots. There's a starfish there, there's rope going up here, more starfish, there's anchors on the front there. Just fabulous, aren't they? So that was my contribution to this month's challenge by Tammy Powley over at Peace Love Craft Dolls. Please do pop along and see the other participants in this challenge. I will link their videos in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.